Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to write queries inside the find method. The find method itself is so powerful and can be used in so many contexts in so many different ways. That's absolutely amazing. We have learned a little bit about the find method during our crud of documents where we have read documents from collection using find, right? So we explored find, we had put some conditions, we learned about find and replace, we learned about find and delete. So that was the introduction towards the find. But in this today's episode, we will learn how to write advanced queries using various operations and logical operators. Welcome back friends. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out in order to continue your learning. Uh, there are 21 tutorials that I have planned, which we are doing a lot of hands-on tutorials and live examples. Please practice it along with me. Ask me if you have any doubts. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, so we have covered 12 episodes. So the first part is done. You can see all of these are covered in the previous episodes. Make sure you go through them. Today we are learning about the queries where we will use a uh, find method with and or less than greater than not equal to equal to and much much more the, after this you will be able to query and make sure that you get the optimized query so that you can get data that you are looking for we'll do both uh, using compass app as well as visual studio code so that you have the entire 360 degree view of using mongodb in different uh, contexts all right, so we can use multiple operations inside the find condition. We have seen how to use find condition, right? And we can use operations, right? We can use operators inside to power um, search power, right? To find method, which means um, we can use equality, less than equal to, less than, greater than, greater than, equal to, not equal to. If you are coming from any programming background, you would have seen all of this even if you are coming from sql background you would know less than greater than greater than equal to all those conditions right same thing here except we will add little bit terms here instead of the operators we'll see that in just a bit also we can use and and op or operations which makes it extremely powerful uh, to make it a search query because you can use with find method and make it absolutely killer query so that you get optimized documents Right. So I'm going to show you all of that. Uh, so today I want to focus more on the query part rather than this compass app, but I will just show you how to do that. So here you can go in the compass, you can just filter and you can, you know, just uh, add the criteria here and say city. And then you can keep on adding the uh, values that you want to filter upon. Right. So here, if I add a query and say find, it will give me all the records which are belonging to a particular city which is new york here so this is pretty straightforward tool because it it does a lot of things for us right in terms of options like you can sort collate filter uh, all that but we don't we are not interested in really the graphical user interface we are interested in writing the queries so that's where lies the magic so let's go get there uh, so let's let me get started by writing some notes because this is an important section that you will work with all right um all right, so, so far we had done CRUD, so today we are starting queries, right? So queries are nothing but using find method of MongoDB with operators and, um, and uh, I would say logical and uh, equality operations, right? So I would just say with operators, right? So what are the different types of operators, right? So we can say equality, we can say less than, Right, so LT for less than, right? If you say LTE, it means less than equal, no points for guessing. If you write GT, which means greater than, if you write GTE, again, no points for guessing, it's greater than, equal, right? And then not equal to and so on. You can also use AND operator. So we use right like this and we will say, or operator like this right so these are the queries that we will use with find uh, this is our leads document let's refresh so we have four documents which has some data uh, like city state salary id name etc etc right simple nothing fancy nothing complicated so now all right so what we are going to do 
So the first thing I'll show you the first query. So we'll do with a simple one. So let's see what database we are using testing DB. Okay. So I'll say DB dot leads dot find, right? So see when we do this, it will return the find method will return all the documents in the collection, right? It will return all the it will return all the documents which are there in the collection, which means it has it has written all the four. Right now, let's start narrowing using the operations. Right. So the best way to always write is write it in the editor. That's easy so that you can modify the query if you want. Now I'm saying I want to add a query and I'm saying where tax should be is equal to 30. So this is exact match. Right. So I'm saying find documents which has tax as 30. So it has it is returning me two, which has because it has tax 30. This has tax 30. Right. So there is Ram and there is Ben. I'm getting two records. Right. When I do this, which is with find with conditions. Right. So this is example. OK, so this is example. Now this is giving me with that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add conditions to it, right? I'm going to add find method with multiple conditions, right? So here I'm saying tax and I'm saying salary range should be 1 lakh, right? Now let's see what this gives the output. It doesn't give anything, okay? Because there is no person matching with 30% tax and it is 120 right so let's copy this and paste it here so now this is two conditions which needs to be satisfied so this is by default and condition if you see here tax is 30 percent and salary is 120 so which is matching with multiple conditions this is and by default right now let's apply it manually and say let's use some operations right so i'm saying find method with tax less than 30 percent so now what i'm saying i'm not saying tax is 30 percent i'm saying anything which is less than 30 percent right so for that what we'll say we'll delete this here and in the tax we'll put a bracket and say less than and here i'm saying 30 so here if you see i'm saying tax is right so now i'm saying tax is less than 30 right so let's do this here I'm really right so just simple nothing fancy just saying that wherever tax is less than or equal to 30 just show that so it shows all of this now similarly if I make it greater than right so these are extremely important queries make sure you practice it with me with tax greater than equal to 30 so here I will say greater than right so now let's see so now it is giving greater than or equal to that's why it is giving me 230 right because it's equal to also but now I'll remove e which means not equal to only greater than 30 now see zero records because there is nothing which is greater than 30 but if I put GTE which means it will find two records because they are equal to 30 right so similarly you can use less than greater than greater than or equal to by default it's equal to right so when you say db tax 30 this is nothing but it's equal to right so when you say like this it means you're finding records which where tax is equal to 30 percent right so see all are this are 30 right so this is equal to find method with equal to right that's by default applied now i'm going to show you how to use and operator with find method right so here what we will do now it's similar just it's it's very very simple just focus on the syntax guys because a lot of times you'll end up making mistake there only so i'm saying db.leads.find right now let's keep closing them and you'll automatically sort it out so first thing since it's inside find i'm saying and colon and since it's a parameter put it like this right and what is it since you are putting a multiple conditions right so it will be under the bracket right so each will have a bracket of its own 
simple this is a syntax first you put and and then you colon then array bracket because you are adding multiple conditions to it so here i will add tax 30 and salary is less than or equal to 1 lakh right now see the only tricky thing that becomes is with respect to joining these queries okay and i think that you will get it eventually with time with practice right so see now i put an and condition which means both of them should be satisfied so i didn't find any uh, records satisfying both now i'll make it 120 i get it because this is 30 this is 12 right so this is a and operator right now i will make it or operator so now i'll make it one lakh right for 120 there was an exact match using and right here it returned one value when it was exact match with and right now i am going to use it with or operator with find method right so here now i'm making or instead of and in the previous query we had and here i'm making or so now go and match documents either it should match tax equal to 30 or salary should be less than equal to 1 lakh let's see so now it is giving me 2 because 30 it's matching and salary should be less than equal to less than but here it is returning 120 because the salary is matching right that's why it is giving 120 also and here it is 90000 but here it is matching less than right so that's why it is fetching both because it is or operator so this is how you can club multiple queries see it, it's an ocean this entire find method if you follow these things you can do so many permutation combinations you can add or inside you can have and and or inside a find method you can have and or less than equal to right greater than equal to equal to inside find method right so there can be so many combinations i want you to try them right that's your homework right try these till you won't learn till you try it guys so please do some hands-on examples set up some data do some querying because this is what you would do ultimately with apis when in when we work with node.js and express right when we do that you will have to write these queries so that you can send it to the uh, api from api to the database right so writing queries is extremely important these are the core if you want to become a full stack developer right so i request you uh, go through that let me know if you have any any doubts i'll be happy to help you in the next part we are going to learn about selecting specific fields right now when we do a select it's giving all the document fields we don't want that we want only specific fields that we need to pick up that's what we are going to learn it in the next episode thank you so much for joining in stay tuned see you in the next episode if you like my work please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you